Hello everyone, welcome to this new video about MLflow. In the previous video, we saw how to uh, create a model in the model registry, how to create a model version, how to transition uh, the model version to different stages, and how to delete the model version and a registered model. Um, so let me show you again uh, what we have. So this is the registered model that we created using the Python client, the MLflow client. Um, you Right now, you might be wondering how can we populate uh, these fields, description and tags that we have here on the registered model. And then we have model version here. We have description and tags again, and we have the schema. So let me show you how we can add meta information uh, to this model using the MLflow client. So this is the code that we were running in the previous video to create the registered model. Now let's use the same client, right, and the same model to attach meta information. In this case, let's go for the description field. So in that case, I just have to use a uh, date register model and here I had to provide the name model name in this case and description right this is a test model right so let's run this code and see what happens now if I refresh this page I can see the description here right I can also edit from here and attach let's say in more information but in this video, we're going to explore only the methods that, uh, the methods with the MLflow client. So now let's add some tags. So let's say that I want to create some tags. Well, I can use uh, this method, set register model tag, right? I had to provide the name of the model the key, uh, let's say that one, value one, that works for me. And let's run this code and see what happens. Oh no, what happens here? Sorry, here, right? So let's run this code. And let's refresh this page. Okay, now we have tags here, right? We have that one and the value. And we can also include tags from the UI, but in this video, we are going to explore only the client. Now. As we can see here, this is the register model. And under this model, we might have multiple models, right? Or multiple versions. Um, so for example, here I have my version one. And inside version one, I also have description and tags and schema. So let's see how to add meta information to this version. Uh, the methods are very similar. Uh, Add in the description, let's say, the model version. Let's say the uh, date model version. And the parameters, the parameters are similar. The difference is that right now, I have to include the version of the model because, well, as I said before, we might have a more than one version. So let's run this code and see what happens. Okay, if I refresh this page, okay, this is a test model version. So this is a description. Uh, now let's add tags. In that case, that could be like sect uh, model version tag. And it's very similar to the previous uh, um, method, but in this case, we had to provide the the version that we want to update because we might have more than one version. So let's run this code. Okay, now we have that one and value one. So in this way, we can add um, more information uh, to the models that we are registering in the model registry. Now there is a field here called schema. Um, MLflow SDK uh, doesn't allow us to include the schema from from the code uh, because that's something that you have to include when you are logging a model. 
So for example, let's say that we go to experiments. I go to uh, this one, model signature, and here we, I have this model, right? And as we can see here, this model has a signature. We can see the, the inputs and the outputs. So let's register this model. Let's create a new model, and the name is the name is going to be something like model with signature. Just for the sake of giving a name. Now let's go to the model registry. Um, we have this model with signature. Uh, we have this version one, and here we can see in the schema. Uh, well, the schema that we attached when we were logging the model with MLflow. And we have the output. So, well, that was everything for this video. Uh, thanks for watching it and see you in the next one.